Ah, uh, okay. I want to tell you about this car. It's a uh, 2000cc double overhead cam Anaza. It's a local machine, which is uh, with a Kia engine. Totally Kia. It's a G4GC. Okay, engine. So the feedback from Malaysian driver that this car is a problematic car and usually uh, it will have a lot of problem on the radiator, uh, the speed um, and the feedback is just, just uh, I mean all the negative side. Okay, to tell you, I've been fixing the. Uh, this is the air compressor. Going to the intake manifold. Okay, uh, so, and this is the uh, oil catch tank. Also, from the intake manifold, where eh, from the engine where all the engine oil over flow will go into this tank and of course this as you know is a air filter is a port filter where it gives you all the energy to the throttle body there is the throttle body uh, uh, on top of that this is the what they call the spark plug cable which is 8.8 mm double core all right and i've also fixed the pivot mega resin which is a capacitor uh, capacitor is to give uh, mean backup to your battery and all the grounding cable all the grounding cable going to the alternator and of course <coughs> the body itself there an extra grounding for I mean a good reception and other than that good reception to the radio TV uh, and it also help the battery okay and one more thing this is the uh, billion steering tank power steering tank which uh, uh, have a double I mean double wall inside so when you you drive in a fast I mean RPM or in let's say a lot of corners your steering steering wheel will be uh, as good as normal not too tight okay this is usually for drifting and for racing okay uh, and of course I put I mean fix all the exhaust system full system as you can see there's a bandage where there's no catalytic converter at all so it will give you more power outlet from the manifold uh, at least 10 percent of the horsepower if you have a good muffler maybe you can go to 15 percent of horsepower okay uh, i also fix the 
what they call inside the uh, what intercooler for the automatic transmission. Okay. So mostly that's about it about the engine. Uh, okay, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I'm using the uh, HKS muffler. HKS muffler. All right, and I fix the diffuser for the air flow to go through, mm, so the drag will be less. Uh huh, and of course, a strut bar. This is called a strut bar where it balances up your Mac person strut. Uh, Mac person strut, I mean, the absorber it balance up so the cornering will be not as uh, i mean you can have a tight corner it's, it's it's stable but of course you need to have a good tire i'm using the a drive r1 yokohama for the front wheel it's a uh, 300 I mean that where is 300 where is medium compound okay and the rear one is a P6000 Pirelli where the thread is if I'm not mistaken Mm, is 150 and is a soft compound actually it's good for rear wheel where the weight is lesser and when you have a tight corner it will get more grip okay talk about this car uh, the feedback for me is totally amazing because from the start uh, it can go only at 140 for the top and the speed uh, fuel consumption is damn high after a bit of modification just without the turbo and the pickup acceleration is better i mean i can say the top is very good and the rpm usually for normal na changing gear at 3005 but this car after the modification was changed at nearly 6000 rpm so the top is higher and for going uphill drop gear is good like Genting Greek mm, I have a I mean a positive on this car because for 7 people and the top speed is, is around 170 and the weight for seven people is nearly 400 kilo plus i mean all the accessories behind and if you driving with only two person i mean it will get much more faster and usually people look down on citra because uh, <laughs> 
there's uh, no uh, accessories for modification. Uh, you have to mean order or think a way of modify yourself. So I've been to a lot of shops and it's actually hard to get. You see, like this cable fuel hose mm -hmm. for a billion is only for high end cars like the Fair Lady Z350. I mean, all the high end like Porsche. Of course, the LED at the underneath of the, I mean, hood. So, uh, it will look, I mean, like fast and furious. Uh. <laughs> of course, I will jack up the hood. I put the... I mean uh, spring washer to jack up a bit so the hot air will go pass through because once you have this modification your engine will be hot damn hot and you must think of something just to eliminate the hot air because I'm using the what they call the short ram intake where it's inside the hood not the cold air intake where they fix it from the outside so a cool engine is a very happy engine and of course a cool air will make your car go much more faster on the acceleration and on the top speed okay i don't i mean uh, maybe next time i will show you how fast it will go from zero to hundred and the top speed uh, for now it's just a short video on the engine for people out there who are using Naza Chitra don't look down because I'm I'm driving this and I can I mean follow the uh, uh, more than 2000 cc car so to say it's a very good car uh, that's about it